Hi everybody, uh, Wendy here from Lolly Dolly Crafts. Okay, um, so I've got a lovely little um, project for you, and this project's. Um, um, if I explain a little bit about what me and Fiona um, are going to be doing, is Fiona's going to be um, doing some kits, okay? Um, some uh, various different types of kits, 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 kits. And what I'm going to be doing for it is I will be doing a video of um, how to to demonstrate um, how the kits can be made up. So they will be themed kits. So there's going to, there's going to be um, uh, a square pillow, round pillow, a heart pillow. The project I'm going to do today is um, a different one, and I will explain that to you in a minute. And then some various other kits. I won't tell you all of them for now because I don't want to. Um, uh, spoil the fun, but I will tell you the next kit that I'm going to do at the end of each video, so you you know you've got something to look forward to. <clears throat> so yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. Just so um, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, um, when you get the kit, there'll be everything in the kit that um, in order to make this project. If you want to uh, use the kit in some other way, that's totally up to you. But um, this is what the, um, everything that will be in the kit will be enough to make the project I'm going to make today. Now the um, the laces and the um, the doilies and that that I'm using um, might vary um, only only in style, not in quality. Okay, so um, it could be that. Um, you know, it, it'll all be. You'll have gathered lace in it. There'll be some goupier lace in there. Um, you know, you'll all, you'll ha and um, any of the um, accessories that I use in order to decorate this um, will come in your kit. Um, the only thing I will say is that um, what I'm using today, Fiona does sell in the store, um, but it could be that she has more of one thing or another but you will have enough to make the kit that I am making it will it will just be the style or the pattern on the laces that will be different possibly okay so um, I just wanted to sort of let you know just so you know if you you buy a kit and uh, you, you haven't got exactly the same laces that I'm showing you now even though Fiona does stock them but it depends on what she's got in stock at the time of making the kits up okay so <clears throat> and obviously, um, I think to start off with um, Fiona's, there's going to be six kits of this one, and then we can go from there as to um, what you know whether we're uh, depending on demand, whether more kits will be made, um, which I'm sure it's not going to be a problem. Um, and this is going to be an ongoing thing, so and we're going to be thinking up different ideas for different kits um, for you guys. So everything that you'll need to make uh, this project will be in a kit form. So what am I going to make? Well, what am I what I'm going to make today? The theme I'm making today is it's um, a bride's wedding purse. Um, now you may think, oh, um, well, I'm not necessarily going going to be a bride, but I still want the kit. Um, you can not only can you use it as a bride's wedding purse, you can use it to keep your hankies in, you know, on the side of your bed. You can use it to keep um, Glue sticks in, you know, anything. It's going to be in. Sh it's going to be white. This one. Um, I'm not sure if Fiona's going to be doing them in different colours, but this one I'm doing. It will be white. Um, I'm sure if she's got, uh, um, she can be doing cream ones or pink ones or a mixture of both. Um, that um, available. Um, but that will be all listed in um, Fiona's shop, which is uh, Jennings Crafts Boutique. Okay, and I will put the link down below. So, okay, so. Let's get on. So I've got um, two pieces of felt, a doily, some white satin, and a piece of um, board. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move these out the way. So I cheated a little bit and I've uh, just moved pencil mark. Now you'll get a piece of board that will be approximately this size, which will be the width of an of um, the bag so it's big enough to if you want to make it for a bride for her to put in I don't know a hanky a lipstick and some change um, you know just enough that she doesn't have to worry about you know carrying a handbag but she can also use it on the day and um, it, it'll 
be pretty and match um, the dress. Um, whichever colour, whether it be cream, you know, whatever, white, off-white, ivory, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, this measures um, 11 centimetres. Okay. So, let me just, just want to, just to check. Yeah. So, th so this, um, which is approximately about just five and, not quite five and three quarters, so 11 centimetres in um, width. And then the length is 20, just over, but 20 and a half centimetres. <clears throat> but you'll be given this piece in your kit. Okay. So, um, the, so what I did was I put the piece of card down and brought the t um, one side up um, so it covered the card okay and put a little line there with a pen and a little line there with a pen just so I know or just so I know I knew that um, that's how much I wanted for my lip because I'm, we're not going to put card in this bit this is going to be covered in lace and satin and trimming so it's going to go that's the shape we're going for okay now we're adding this card only to the back just to give it a bit of um, support so but this side will be loose so it's not going to be um, you know over padded now I'm going to use two pieces of um, felt to start off with so I'm going to use it like this I put it on top so it gives me a little bit of width for the um, or a bit of stability for this top pocket and then also the same for this bit down here and I can trim all this off after um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick oh yeah before I do that before I do that right what you need to do because um, I don't want a boring um, shape on the, on these corners here for the top of my bag. Now it's totally up to you how you do it. I'm going to show you this way, but there are other ways that you can cut the corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half down the middle. Okay, this is just an easier way to get the sides even. Okay, so make sure it's down the middle. Now you can either cut um, a corner off. So what what you'll get then is a shape like a, an envelope shape. So it'll be like that, like that, that, and that. Okay. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, lid, tin lid, and I'm going to round my corner. Now I just want this corner bit here rounded, just to soften up that corner. I did. I did have. I. I oh, there it is. I did have all this ready, you know. Believe it or not. Okay. So I'm just going to take a pen. Okay. And not against the folded edge. You don't want to put this on that side. You want it on the edge that's that's open. Okay. So you want it on the folded edge. So just put the corner of the lid, or however long, you know, the um, curved you want this bit. And I'm just going to draw with my pen just that little bit there okay and that's what I'm going to cut off so I'm just going to cut that off keep cut it off when it's still folded because what that will do is make sure that both your sides of your little bag are going to be the same so that when you fold them over they'll look like that okay so that's what we're going to do oh that's what we've done so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just going to glue this piece of card in between the two marks that I made on my felt okay so And this is only to hold it in place because once the um, and don't worry, don't put it up to the edge. Okay, leave this 
edge there and lift about I don't know half an inch each side. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm just going to fold this quickly in half and do the same for the other side. I should have done them both together, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to do it quickly. You can always, if it's not um, even or exactly the same, you can always uh, trim off afterwards. Okay, so I'm just cutting this corner off. Okay, so in this will then sit on top of there like that. Okay, now this felt is an A4 size. Okay, um, don't worry if it's not an exact match as far as, um, you know, but like corners match and whatever, as long as it's, uh, you know, because if you see here, it, it's pretty much level this end, but this end has, has got a little bit of a lip. I'll trim that off, off afterwards. So put your felt on top. This is the best way to do it. Okay. Make sure, oh, I'll do it the right way. Put your felt on top. Make sure it's all pretty much level all the way around okay and then just pull one side back add a bit of hot glue to the card and then just lay that back down and then you're just sticking that piece of card and that felt okay and then now, don't worry that that's not, uh, when you fold it up, that this is not level. You can trim that off. Um, we're not worried about it. So this will be the shape of our bag. Okay, and we, we can trim all those off, off uh, the edges afterwards. So it's nice and thick enough. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I'm not worried about trimming it, um, trimming it off. So, because I'm going to add. Now this is just plain white satin material. I'm going to do one for the bottom, and one for the top. Okay, mine's a bit cr crumply. I did I did try and iron it but I didn't have any steam in my iron and but, uh, but there you go. If you do uh, want to press it um before you uh, make it up just don't put the iron straight onto this cuz it will burn it. Um I know I'm sure you ladies I don't need, need to teach you how to suck eggs. Um just put a, a cloth over the top. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go round. Okay? And I'm going to I'm just going to fold this back oops and I'm just going to do a very thin line around here I don't want to put a lot on of the glue here because I don't want um because it will show through I, I'm only going to do it on the inside I'm not going to do it on the lid okay just this bit here and then I'm going to Lift this up and then run a line of glue down and then just glue it down like so. Exactly the same way that Fiona does her books when she uh, her um, pillows and that when she does them. Okay, so again on the side, just going to get some hot glue and run it down the side. And exactly the same this bit. This is all around is going to be trimmed off so
again, just a bit of hot glue. And this is just a great way of, um, you know, creating accessories for um, a wedding. I mean, when I got married, I had all the full works. I had a vintage car. Um, I had, um, you know, but I made my cushion. I made um, my bag. You know, I made anything like this. I made myself. Um, and it does save you loads of money. But also as well, you know, in getting the kit, you can, you know, and someone says, oh, you know, where'd you get the, the bag from? It's brilliant. You can say, well, actually, I made it myself. You know, it just, it is. When you, you know, something like that, it's a, it's a lot of fun when you when you do it yourself. So I'm just adding glue. Don't add um, a huge, great big line from the top here all the way to here in one go. Do it, do it about a couple, three or four three inches I would say probably the most at a time otherwise the uh, by the time you get to uh, adding the glue to the top it's already started to dry at the bottom okay so I'm just so I'm going to trim all this off okay so now we've got so we've got there and then we've got our top Okay, now I know it looks a bit messy at the moment. Don't worry about that because we're going to trim all this off. Okay. So trim off as close to the edge of where you've glued as possible. Don't go too far because you don't want to cut the bit that you just glued off. Um, if you go close enough, you should be able to see. So we're just cutting all the way around. I'm doing it really cack handed, aren't I? So I'm just going to check, make sure it's all sealed everywhere, so it's uh, there's no places that haven't been stuck down. Yeah, that looks fine. So this is our top bit, and this is, oops. This is our bag. Okay, so this is our basic bag shape. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to making sure I'm going to stick my bag this just this side to there and then this side to there. Don't stick it across, otherwise your bag won't show. Don't worry about that this edge is, uh, looks untidy. We are going to tidy that up, okay? And I'll show you what I'm going to do to tidy that up. Right, so with the bag folded, so it's against, you can feel the edge of the, the cardboard there, just fold the bag up and then stick. Oh, make sure my glue sticks in. Just add glue to this side. Stick it down. Now, don't stick it all the way down 
leave that little bit of a lip there on this one because we're going to tidy this edge up okay so you just need to leave about I don't know um, what's that half an inch so don't glue it all the way you'll see because it's the bit where we've um, put the glue so do the same on the other side okay just add some add some glue my glue gun. Add some glue, but don't do it all the way to the end. And glue that down. So now we've got a lovely bag. Now this here, to tidy this edge off, off so that we're going to have a nice tidy edge, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that down. So just run a line of glue and fold it over. We're going to cover it anyway with some trim, but we just want to uh, tidy it up. So we're just going to fold that over. Now if you wanted to, um, you could have folded this inwards before you put it together, but um, I do it on the app, do it this way because when I cover it with trim, uh, you're not going to see where the join is, whereas if you fold it inwards, you're still you're gonna you'll you'll still get the fray bit. Whereas now that's like tidy on the inside as well as the outside. It will be tidy both sides. So that's why we do it. We fold it outwards. So just run along any bits that are you know sticking up and just press them down. Don't worry about all. Don't worry about all these uh, odd fray bits, because um, these are going to be covered with trim. Okay, so there we go. So now we've got our bag shape. Okay, it's got. Although it's got a piece of um, card in there, it's still soft, but it's not too soft that. Um, you know, and it's big enough to put in, you know, Bride's mobile phone if she wanted to. Okay, so but as long as she didn't have a huge rate phone like I do. Right, so now this is the fun bit, we're going to decorate it. So, um, with this, I'm going to add um, two pieces of Velcro to um, each corner. To fasten it um, but I'll also show you a different way of fastening it as well that you don't have to use velcro um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this doily well in actual fact I might add some lace first but I'm going to you'll get a doily in your kit so I'm going to, I want to add this doily to go over the top of the bag but what I might do is add some lace first. So um, I'm going to use some gathered lace trims and also some goupier trim. Um, you'll get some goupier trim in your kit and you'll also get some gathered lace. Okay, I mean just by putting that on there it, just, it looks gorgeous already. Um, so actually I could even do it that way. I might even do it that way actually. But that's just it, you can do the bag whichever way. You can either put the doily on the bottom there, you can put it over the this side here. It's totally up to you. Um, you know what you want to do. Right, okay, so I'm going to add some lace trim. So I want which one do I want to use? I want to make sure that I've got enough to go. Um, oops. I mean, this is going to be so lacy and beautiful, it's going to be absolutely perfect um, for um, 
a bride or even for sitting on on your desk you know what I mean it's going to be totally gorgeous uh, totally up to you how you use it um, so. Ooh. which one do I want to use um, I've got various laces that Fiona's um, sells in the shop um, you'll get enough to make the bag um, to line it uh, to add lace um, the front around here across here and also on the back of the bag as well and I'm just deciding which one I want to use where so I might use that one and that one here and then that one on the back possibly decisions decisions see this one's left I might use this one on the back, I think, yeah. All right, I'm, I'll make a decision, and I'm going to add this one to the back. Okay, so that's this one. And this makes a gorgeous flower as well. So I'm just going to add this to the... I'm just going to fold over the edge just to tidy it up. Just put a little doll just so it tidies that edge up okay and then I'm going to add this around the outside of the back and like I say you don't have to use these for um, a wedding it's just uh, you can use it for putting a hanky in beside your bed or you know, you, you can keep your um, your pop socks or your tights in there. You can put makeup in it. You, you know what I mean? It's totally up to you, whatever you want. You can use it to, to um, you know, store some other laces in. You can make it um, as a gift for somebody, you know, if you're doing a swap or something. You know what I mean? There's there's loads of um, different ways you can use, make, you, you know, use this little, little bag for. So I'm just going all the way around. If you want a little bit more gather on the corner, just do what Fiona does, just gather that up. I didn't do it on that one, but it doesn't really matter because it's gathered, it's it's perfectly fine. So I'm just finishing adding this around. The outside of the bag. So I'm just gonna Trim this off. Let's see, I didn't uh, fold it over, did I? Right, let me just do that. Add a bit of glue, make sure you can see what I'm doing. Just to tidy it up. And then stick that down. There we go. Okay, so now we've added that to the outside of the bag. Okay. Now, um, you could, if you wanted to, add. Um, Let's see a piece of ribbon two piece right yeah a piece of ribbon I will show you uh, so say like um let me just if I get this here say like this is a, a just say this is a ribbon if you added it here okay to the back of the bag you can then have one side go this way 
one side go that way and then you can tie it in a bow here to close the bag up or you can use put add, add two pieces of velcro and velcro will be added to the kit just so that you you know whatever way you choose you want to um, close the bag up okay so that's that side okay so now we're just going to add some lace now to the inside of the bag long around here and also across here so I'm going to use I think um, have a look. this is a nice soft one so it's this one I think I'm going to but before uh, before I do that I'm going to add some of this trim if you only sells this in the shop, I'm going to add it All right, across the top of the bag there. Now I know you can't see it when it's closed, but obviously it gives a nice finish um, when it's open. So I'm just going to add this to the top of the bag. And I'm also going to add um, some flat back pearls to it as well. I want to make sure that no one can see where I folded that over. Uh, so I might use I might use this one. Get that side. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use that one. I think. So I'm just going to add this across the opening of the bag and I'm just going to snip that off. So that's going to go across there like that. Okay. Now I'm going to do it. This has got a little scalloped edge to the top of this lace. So I'm going to add it so the scalloped edge just sticks up above the uh, opening of the bag and that gives it a nice finish. Okay. I'm just going to add that all the way along. Beautiful. Okay, so like that. All right. So now I'm going to add my lace trim to this side of the bag. Um, that was this one. I think I was going to use. Start off this side and just add that. And it's better to add the trim across the top of this part of the bag first because that way it just it gives you a tidier finish. Okay. So. so 
So I'm just adding this around that curved edge. I've got glue all over my fingers. My hands are sticking to the, to the lace, as usual. Um, this is also a great way if you um, if you want to make some bridesmaids bags as well for older bridesmaids, not younger ones. Um, another, another one of the kits that uh, I will be showing you how to make will be um, a bag for a young bridesmaid. Um, It's a, you know, if you've got an older bridesmaid and you want to make one to match their outfit, um, you know, depending on whatever, I'm sure, you know, we could uh, or Fiona could source some different colours. You know, if you if you message messaged her. And we all know that, you know, Fiona's well known for her kits. Um, and that I'm a kit stalker. I love Fiona's kits. Love, love, love them. So I'm just sticking that down. Tidying this, folding this edge over. And then I'm going to stick it down to here. Oops. There we go. So we've done that side and we've done that side. This is a side we're going to fold over. Now we're also going to add this doily to the top of the bag, I think. Do I want to add it? Yes, I do want to add it there. I don't want to cover that um, beautiful lace up. Mind you, I could tuck it under, couldn't I? Um, which way do I want to do it? No, it's totally up to you which end you do it. Um, I've got a flower here. I've already made the flower. You'll have enough in the kit to make your own flower. Um, you'll get one of those feather and some white chalk um, because it's uh, obviously um, a wedding bag. You can't go without a nice bit of chalk. Um, so there's some nice chalk there. And I'm going to add this. And you all know um, if you run along to Fiona's channel, she's got loads and loads of um, fabulous uh, flower tutorials. Um, so I'm going to add this to, and the, and the, you have enough lace in the kit to make your own flower. The flower, um, unless Fiona Fancy is sitting there making flowers up all for you, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to see what she says. Um, but there'll be a um, enough material in there to make a flower. Okay, like that, and there'll be. So it's going to go like that. Okay. So, um, so, I'm trying to think which way I want to do it. Um, mind you, if I do it that way, it sort of covers the back a bit as well, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to add some pearl around there anyway. Okay, so I'm going to do it like that. So... I'm going to let that one hang down a bit, I think. 
So I've just, where this um, particular doily has got a little bit of a scallop on it, I'm just going to put that to the edge of here. Um, you might not necessarily have the same doily as this, but it, you will get a white doily. Okay, so I'm just going to add a bit of glue along here and stick the doily down. Okay, and then just add. Try not to add any glue to um, this anywhere that can be seen because you obviously don't want. So just go around, you know, these sort of edges. Um, you can add a little bit to this bit here in the middle. So on the bits that's thicker, so it doesn't show through. Okay. So I'm just adding a bit of glue to each of this scallop part of the doily. Folds over just nicely, like so. Okay. So how are we doing? Beautiful. So now I'm going to add some flat back trim. Across the top here of the bag. to finish off this piece here and it just finishes it off nicely let's do that then I need to get another glue stick Now when you're adding the flat back pearl to the bag, don't go right to the very edge here. So come in the other side of this hem of the lace there, because if you go right to the end, and when you fold the bag over, it's going to bulk it out. Okay? Okay, so on the outside of the bag, I'm going to add some flat back pearls. Okay. Like so you don't have to decorate um, you know whatever bag you make exactly the same as I have. You can do it however way you want. It's just I'm just using what is going to be in the kit for, you know what I mean, you can do it, you know, to your own taste or style. This is just a, now I'm going to trim that in there, because I don't want to cover this doily, so I'm going to, I should have done it, um, put the doily over, but it doesn't matter, and then start again this side.
this last one's down. Okay. Beautiful. Gorgeous. There we go. You see? Gorgeous. So now I'm going to find two pieces of Velcro just to put in there in a minute, just to put them down. But I don't know what I've done with mine, but I know I've got some. Okay. So. Right. I got um, some ribbon. So two pieces of ribbon, cut, these are cut in, let's see, uh, these are about, I don't know, let's say 30, 30, I don't know, about, about 45 centimetres in length, but you can do it however way you want. Okay, so I've just folded them in half and I want to stick them to the back of my flower. I'm just going to ouch not burn myself. Add them to the back of my flower okay and like so and I've also got some of this, okay, which will also be included in your kit, some of this. I'm going to also add that to the back of my flower. So, um, yeah. Better doing it that way. So I'm just folding it in half, putting a dollop of glue there. And then just add in and letting it dry. Don't put your finger in the dollop of glue because you'll burn yourself. <sighs> just letting that dry. Okay. And then I'm going to add this to the front of the bag so that it hangs down like that. Okay. Like so. Oh. Okay, I've got glue all over me. Well, I just want to um, Oh dear me. Now you'll be given some trim just to finish off the inside of the bag like that. It might not necessarily be, it will be whatever colour theme the bag's in, but it might not necessarily be the style, but it will be some trim just to tidy up these edges. Okay, so I'm just going to add that. Because you don't want to add, you could add pearls to it to go all the way around, but when you try to close it, it's going to be difficult, so it's better if you use trim like this and it just gives it a nice finish okay so I'm just gluing this around the bag not burning myself <laughs> I 
I mean, if you wanted to, you could, uh, if you were so inclined and were good at sewing, you could do all this by sew it all by hand. Um, I'm just not inclined to sew it all by hand. <laughs> And uh, I just think it's a brilliant way of, uh, you know, using a kit to um, make an accessory for a wedding day or, or for whatever that's going to be, nothing that's going to be used heavy usage wise, do you know what I mean? It's, uh, you know, I mean, it's not, not that it's going to fall apart because it won't, but it's just, it's not like you're going to stick it in the washing machine or if you did want to do that, then I would suggest you the, did it, sewed it all by hand and not um, hot glued it. So I'm just uh, adding this, and this. This just finishes it off nicely. Ouch, ouch, ouch. There we go. Cut that end off and make sure you just add a bit of glue to this end bit here so it doesn't fray. So you're just sticking that bit down. I'm sticking it to your fingers. There we go. If you have any glue strands anywhere, just take a just take a um, hairdryer or a heat gun. Don't put the heat gun really close though, because you'll melt the. Uh, but just a hairdryer will do it, just to blow away any bits of glue. So there, you've got a nice clutch bag for the the bride. Folds over beautifully, and uh, like I said. Um, I wouldn't add just one piece of velcro there. I would probably add one to each end, but you'll have some velcro in your in the kit in order to finish that off. So there we go, one bride's clutch bag, and uh, this will be available as a kit from Fiona. Okay. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, the next kit I'm going to be doing is a um, a wall canvas, and it, the one I'm going to do again will be um, it will be a kit. But you can um, what I've made it for before. Spell it out is for brides to use in the lead up to their wedding in order to put like little um, a car appointment cards or all that sort of thing in. But again, you can use it for, you know, craft appointments, um, so it'll be in a, a variety of colours. Um, I'm just going to show you, um, not necessarily white, but I'm just saying that's what I've made it before. Um, I might do a different colour one, um, depending on what uh, Fiona's got in. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I, I hope you like the bag that I've made have the kit. So thanks for watching. Come again soon. Bye.